Out of all the complaints I hear about Arch Nemesis, one seems to come up time and time again. That being, Mana Siphoner completely pricks melee. If I try to fight it, I just die due to its mana drain, and I can't use any of my skills. If I try to run away, it's faster than me, so I just die due to its mana drain, and I can't use any of my skills. I've heard this story a lot, so much so that if I had a dollar for every person who told it to me, at this point, I'd probably have at least $30, which in today's economy doesn't buy you all that much. But hey, maybe I could use it to buy an indie game. Unfortunately, I don't have $30. But I do have a secret. That secret is, Menadrator isn't as dangerous as you think. So let's do a little bit of a live demonstration with a melee build, my Shield Crush Trickster, against a Mana Siphoner Beast. Now initially, if you try to stay at medium range, within that scary blue Righteous Fire looking ring, you will take a lot of damage. Your mana will be drained away and you'll immediately start taking damage. This is where most people die. You can't use your skills and it's super scary. But if you get just a little bit closer to the Mana Siphoner, you're fine. There's no damage because it's not a full circle. It's a donut. And within the dead center of that donut is of course the enemy. So as long as you can dodge its melee abilities, which do tend to be pretty telegraphed, even if it has something like hasted, or if you're durable enough like my character to just face tank what it's doing most of the time, walk right up to it. Either sidestep around or just tank what it can do and you'll be able to kill the enemy in no time. And this strategy is especially effective if you're in an enclosed space. In this area, I can't really kite it around. Even if I'm faster than it, what happens is I kind of get stuck in that middle zone. And this is where I think the misconception comes from. Other people also get stuck in that middle zone. Where they go, oh, well that's super dangerous. But it's only super dangerous in that very narrow zone indicated by the blue outline. If you're outside of it, let's say you're off-screening the enemy, Mana Siphoner doesn't do anything to you. In fact, you probably won't even know it exists. But of course, as a melee build, you're very rarely off-screening things. So instead, what do you do? Get closer. The closer the better. Stand directly in the enemy's hitbox. If you do, not only will you be able to use all of your skills just fine, but you'll take zero damage from a Mana Siphoner effect. And personally, even on ranged builds, I find this is by far the most effective way to deal with Mana Siphoner. So next time you see that big blue donut, don't be scared. Because at the end of the day, if you're standing in melee range or very close to the enemy, Mana Siphoner is hardly a mod at all. So the next time your friend says, I'm playing a melee build and Mana Siphoner keeps wrecking me, you know what to do. Link in this video, share it around, and hopefully we get to a point where no melee has to die to Mana Siphoner. But that's about all I've got for today. And who knows, maybe as a result of this video, I'll have that $30 after all. A special thanks to my patrons and YouTube channel members. Your support helps keep me independent and allows me to turn down things like sketchy mobile game sponsorships. You can do so for as low as $1 a month over on Patreon. Or if you want to support me completely for free, then you can join the community by hopping into my Discord, link below. If you want more content, check out my second channel, 10 Gaming Thoughts. It's a place that I use to review games, ramble my way through video essays, and a lot more. Or of course, you can just click the suggested video in the card right now. I hope you learned something today, and maybe I'll see you again sometime soon.